Welcome to Flyer Updates, the show where we, pilots from the training team, are in charge of showcasing the latest updates on both software and hardware for the Helios 3. This way, you will always be up to date with all the changes and updates our R&D is implementing for your drone, enabling you to go the extra mile during and after your missions. Our latest update is called Pluto, available March 26, 2025. It's one of the most important E3 software releases up to date. Let's take a drone for a flight and let's jump right into it. Ever wished for a get me out of here button? Introducing Return to Home. Using LiDAR data, the drone calculates an optimal path home, avoiding obstacles in complex environments. Overall, a must-have feature for all pilots, bringing even more peace of mind even in low visibility conditions. It also enables you to fly even longer with a new flight management gauge, while ensuring a safe return home before the battery level runs low. Talking about the cockpit app, users can now set the maximum altitude in settings to better follow airspace regulations. This facilitates SORA authorization applications when flying the Helios 3 in restricted areas. Keep in mind that the max default altitude for outdoor operations is set to 120 meters, as per EU standards. It is possible to increase this value while flying, but not decrease it with the Helios 3. Let's now download our mission data on this new version of Inspector to explore its latest features. As you know, inspection conducted in large assets could mean hundreds of pictures taken, making the interface and point cloud crowded and messy. So what about adding some filters to your pictures? That's right, Philip. You can now filter out pictures in Inspector according to different parameters. In this UT mission, for example, you can select a certain thickness range, cleaning the UI and displaying only the points of interest you need. Filtering your POIs plus the new ability to crop the point cloud in every direction can massively help you simplify your inspection view. Use the arrows to crop in the selected direction and the curved lines to rotate the clipping orientation. Up next, the big return of a fan favorite inspector feature now upgraded with fun and exciting twists, the word report. As mentioned, report generation in word format is coming back to our in-house software. Users will be able to select between three predefined templates, short, full or UT, each crafted following industry standards and fully customizable. How about simplifying the FAR workflow a bit? Instead of working with separate bag and JSON, we have now combined them in a single file which contains both the raw LiDAR data and its calibration, that you can then import directly in your preferred FAR workflow. release, you can finally push your UT data sets directly on the cloud and do A-scans and calibration there. And that's it for this release. Hope you enjoy all the new features. Happy flying and see you in the next episode.